Hello everyone. And my name is Dr. Sagar Bhargav. I'm a cataract glaucoma and a refractive surgeon. I hope all of you are safe and uh, tackling this COVID pandemic with a lot of grit and resolve. Today I'll be speaking about a unique issue which we have now started seeing, which was never a case a few months back, which is what will you do if accidentally the, the sanitizer, which is now used rampantly, gets into your eye. So first thing first, if that happens, don't panic. The immediate course would be to go, just go near a, a wash basin and start putting water in your eyes. You should do it at least for five to 10 minutes. This will basically dilute the sanitizer, which went in your eye. Most of the sanitizers are evaporative so on putting this water it will get diluted and it's it's ill effect on the eye can be minimized to a great extent now the extent of injury in the eye would depend on the amount of sanitizer that has entered your eye if there is a significant sanitizer entry then you might have persistent irritation and burning sensation even after washing the eyes in that scenario if it is possible con contact your eye specialist preferably go to his clinic and show your eyes but if it happens at an odd hour what you can do at that point is buy a lubricating eye drops there are many lubricating eye drops which are available over the counter you really don't need any prescription for getting that commonly used drops i will just name them there's no financial interest at all but this is something which will be very useful in the event of such an such a possibility so you can use drops like refresh tears tears plus tear drops Gentile, Optive, there's so many of them which are just easily available over the counter. Procure them and keep applying these drops every half an hour, 15 minutes to half an hour initially for about two to three hours. And then you can continue them half an hour till you meet your doctor the next day. Now, what can go wrong with this uh, injury? So, what can actually happen is just like if some chemical gets poured on the skin, the skin area can get denuded or that area may develop a defect. Something similar can happen on the cornea, which is the transparent portion of the eye. And you might have what is called as a corneal epithelial defect. If the, if the injury is mild, then there may be corneal epithelial roughening. So depending on what you have, the subsequent treatment is given. But believe me, these injuries are mild and usually nothing will happen. More important is trying to avoid these injuries. And how do you do that is always make sure when you are taking the sanitizer, the nozzle is not at your eye level. So some people have a tendency to keep uh, sanitizer at a little height, which may be actually at the level of the eye level. So that is the chance of an injury. This kind of injury can easily happen in ch children. So make sure that sanitizer bottles are uh, away from the reach of small children. Another category of patients that we have seen is off late. We are finding a lot of patients who are absolutely normal, complaining of itchiness in the eyes and mild redness. One of the studies from Bangalore, from Narayan Nethale, has shown that these sanitizers, once they are, they are used for hand scrubbing, they become aerosolized. That means they, they, they basically are released into the air in the form of micro bubbles. And these can actually get in touch uh, in your eyes and they can cause chronic irritation and discomfort. And this is specifically seen in patients who are using the sanitizer very frequently, for example, every half an hour, one hour. So that's also one of the ill effects of using sanitize, sanitizers at a very frequent interval. Better option would be to have an access to soap water and wash your hands more frequently because that has less chances of reaction in the eyes. So to sum up, sanitizers, though they are very good helpers to disinfect instantly, can sometimes lead to acute acute uh, problems in the eye if they get directly instilled into the eye. Or in some uh, individuals who are prone to allergy, can cause, can cause uh, symptoms of irritation, discomfort, and uh, itchiness which uh, can be treated by minimizing the sanitizer use and increasing the 
So uh, what a use. Thank you for your kind attention.